Okay, today I'm going to show you what I've been doing to get ready to can. I wash my jars. Then I put them in here, boiled them for 20 minutes. Took them out, washed them again, put them back in here, boiled them another 20 minutes. Then took them back out, boiled them another 20 minutes with water inside of them. And then before I make my stuff to can, I put it 20 minutes in the oven at 200. That's how I get ready to can. This is more of the can stuff that I done today. I washed these jars. I uh, boiled them. And then I washed them, boiled them, washed them, and boiled them. And now it's time to uh, get them out and I can start canning with them. Before I do that, though, I put them in the oven for 20 minutes and bake them at 200 to get it uh, where I can start canning in them. Here's my sloppy jaws. I'm getting ready to can. I put three cups of chopped bell peppers, green, and then three cups of red bell peppers, two cups of red onions, four tablespoons of salt, no, four teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, one half cup of tomato paste, four cups of tomato sauce, one half cups of Dijon mustard, one fourth cup of brown sugar, and in order to make the three cups, you'll need two large peppers, red and green, then you'll need two large onions. So that's all to make the three cups. To make the three cups of peppers, you'll need two large, cut up small, and then the three cups of onions, no, two cups of onions, you'll need two large. And that's how we get ready to can. And it's been sitting in this crock pot for over eight hours now. So I'm getting ready to jar it up and can it. This is how you uh, can sloppy jaws, and then you water bath them for 25 minutes. And make sure your water is covering your jars at least two inches. That's how you get it to uh, seal. Then you take it out and let them sit on your counter on a towel for tw 12 to 24 hours before you open it up or jar it up or anything. Then you can wash your jars with soap and water then put them up. I put them on this pan and I put them up like this. Let them sit in the oven for 20 minutes. Then I take it out and put my uh, hot sloppy joes in it. Then debubble it. Then put my lid on. Then put it in the canner for 25 minutes. Okay, I'm going to take it out, pour the water out, and set it on here. Now, I got them out of the hot water. I've had boiling. I've let them sit there for 30 minutes in that water. Now, I'm going to put them in the oven and uh, let them get hot and stay in there until I get ready to uh, make my sloppy joes. And I'll leave them in the oven at 200 for 20 minutes. Now they are in the oven. You will also need a funnel like this. You'll also need a pair of these to get your uh, jars out. And this is how you do it. You pick them up just like that. Make sure you don't pick them up by the rim. And right there is how you do it. Then you can bring it over to the sink. 
and pour it out. And that's how you get ready to start canning. Now that's how you start canning. I'll show you more later on. Now this is how you put them in your uh, canner to boil them. You put water in them, then you grab them like this. And you put them in here. And let them boil for at least 20 minutes. If you like this video, push the like and subscribe button at Tanya Puget slash home cooking and bake. This is how we're going to start canning in a water bath canner. And uh, we got our jars in the oven for 20 minutes. Then we're going to take them out. Put the jars on the counter. Put our sloppy joes in it. Then debubble it. And then put a lid on and then a ring on. And then once it's canned, then it needs to be put back in the water bath. Set there until you get all your jars ready. Then you uh, press, uh, then you water bath it for 25 minutes. And this is how you make sloppy jokes. I gave you the recipe how to do it. Thanks for watching. And please share this video with your friends and family. And you can also find me on Tanya Marie Fugit on Facebook. This is just how we would start to can. Water bath can only right now. Thank you.